Hello guys, in this video I'll show you how to combine the optocoupler MOC3021 and TRIAC BT136. So we can control high voltage device with low voltage circuit. So let's get started. I'm using here MOC3021 it has 6 pins 4 pins are the functioning pin and 2 are the no connection pin now see its internal circuit it has an IR diode and in the output section it has a DIAC DIAC diode alternating current ok now see here it is pin number 6 pin number 4 pin number 1 and pin number 2 in the input side we will apply plus 5 volt here then we will connect one 220 ohm resistor and we will connect to it pin number 1 the value is 220 ohms and pin number 2 is connected to ground at the output side we will connect 560 ohm resistor here with pin number 4 also ok now see here we will connect one triac and gate pin of the triac is connected to pin number 4. Triac is a 3 pin device. This pin is gate pin. This one empty one. This pin is empty two. And we will connect AC load here. And this pin is directly connected with AC supply. Here is our AC supply. 220 volt AC. Okay. So, whenever we apply here 5 volt, this load will active or deactive depending upon the lower voltage side. So, this optocoupler will isolate low voltage from high voltage. Okay? As we know, diac means diode alternating current, triac means TRISC triode alternating current. And I am using here BT136. Now let's see its pin diagram. The first pin is MT1, that is main terminal 1. The middle pin is main terminal 2. And the third one is gate pin. Now let's see the breadboard connection. Put the optocoupler. Here it is pin number 1, 2, 3 and 456 BT136 one switch here and I am connecting an LED with pin number 1 the anode pin of the LED is connected with one pin of the switch other pin of the switch is connected with plus VCC ok and the pin number 2 is connected with ground I have just connected one LED here ok so that whenever we supply 5 volt here this LED will glow with this so we will get notification so this is how we completed our low voltage connection this side is for low voltage and the other side is for high voltage according to the circuit diagram pin number 4 of optocoupler is connected with gate of the triac a 560 ohm resistor is connected between MT1 and pin number 4 of optocoupler another 560 ohm resistor is connected with pin number 6 then it is connected to MT2 and I'll use this load it is 100 watt electrical bulb and we'll control this bulb with low voltage supply one terminal of the bulb is connected with MT2 and another terminal of the bulb is connected with AC supply and MT1 is directly connected to the AC supply so this two pin will go to AC supply ok and here we will apply low voltage that is plus 5 volt here is our AC supply and I am connecting one pin to the neutral 
and another pin to the line or face so before turning on the AC supply double check your circuit because you are playing with high voltage ok now I am turning on the AC supply and now I will turn on the switch and this LED will glow with this this bulb should glow see it is working so in this way we can isolate from high voltage to low voltage instead of this switch we can apply any digital IC or microcontroller and also with triple five IC ok now I am disconnecting it in the next video I'll show you how to control brightness of this bulb with triple five timer IC so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video I'll show you how to control brightness of this type of bulb with triple five timer IC till then stay happy and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching